Hey guys, it's Jacob with Above and Beyond Tech with Getting Smarter with Your Smartphone. Thanks for tuning in to day one of how to get smarter with your iPhone. Today we're going to learn what the four buttons are on your iPhone. There are four buttons on your iPhone. You have your home button at the bottom front of your phone. You have your power button at the top either right hand corner or if it's an iPhone 6 or 7 it's right over on the right side of the phone. And then you have your volume buttons. The one closer to the bottom of the phone is minus, and the one at the top is volume up, plus. You also have this little toggle switch right here. When it's pulled towards the front of the phone, your phone is in volume mode, which means it's going to get a ring. If you pull it down and you see that little red dash right there, that means that it's in vibrate mode. So it's not going to ring, it's just going to vibrate. Now, your home button, when you press it, will open your screen. It will also take you back to your home page. No matter where you're looking at, whether you're on the Internet Explorer, it'll take you back to your home page. If you're in your phone app, it'll take you back to your home page. No matter what you do, when you give it a light tap, it takes you back to your home page. When you double tap it, it closes recent apps. Now, if you want to use Siri, you can press and hold your home button, and that brings up Siri. I don't really want her to reply right now, so I'm just going to close this out. Now, your lock button at the top of the phone locks the phone when you give it a light tap. It also unlocks the phone when you have your screen turned off. If you want to turn your phone off all the way, you can press and hold your power button, and then you get this symbol that says slide to the slide to power off, and then you just grab it and you pull it over. I'm not really wanting to turn the phone off right now though, so I'm not really going to turn it off. So, quick tap to turn the screen on and off. The volume buttons are of course you press the top one to turn the volume up and you press the bottom one to turn the volume down. You can also mute your phone and turn it into vibrate mode by just pulling the toggle down like we see right here. So on is towards the screen and mute is pulled towards the back of the phone. So again, our home button is this circle button with a square in it at the bottom of your phone. It always takes you out back to your home page. It also lets you close recently opened apps to help save battery life. And it also brings up Siri as well. Your power button locks the screen, unlocks the screen, and if you hold it, you can turn the phone off all the way. Your volume down button makes the volume get quieter and your volume up button makes the volume get louder. This toggle when pushed towards the front of the screen gives you a ringer and when it's pushed back towards the back of the screen it turns the phone into vibrate mode. What do you think? Do you think you could put your phone into vibrate mode and put it back into ringer mode? Let me know in a comment below. Also, let me know anything else you want to learn on your iPhone, and we'll put that in our catalog to make for a video. As always, give this video a like and share, so that way you can help your friends get smarter with their smartphone. Also, head on over to our Facebook page at Above and Beyond Tech, and give us a like there, so that way you can stay up to date as our videos come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks guys, and have a great day. Bye.